Clients that can come in with lateral elbow pain. Could be humoradial joint, could be dorsal neurosis nerve entrapment, but some are true tendopathies. And when we find that, using those tests that we teach in the course, we need to now identify which of the different musculotendinous structures is involved. One of the most common is extensor carpidialis brevis as it attaches to the lateral epicondyle. When your client presents with true insertion tendopathy extensor carpidialis brevis, right at that lateral epicondyle, we need to first find the exact place that it's irritated. To get there, we identify our radial head, the radial capitular connection, the capitulum here, the supracondylar ridge coming down to the point of the lateral epicondyle. It's like a little point. And when you come off that point and go slightly medial, there's a half centimeter by half centimeter box in which that tendon inserts. It's right there on the box that we'll find the tenderness. So when the client presents with that, I can use my thumb, get over the top of that box, come off the point onto the box, compress, draw back towards me with pressure, and release it. Often I can watch the client, they'll wince when they get pressure to that tendon. Now we have to be careful. We don't want to go too far medial because then we get on the recurrent branch of the radial nerve. We need to stay just on that 0.5 centimeter box, 0.5 centimeter square box here. So I'm going to provide compression and then release and start over. Compression and release, compression, release, compression, release. Several minutes of input to help improve collagenation, reduce pain, inspire microlymphatic drainage, and help reorganize collagen. These types of inputs can help those with true insertion tendopathy. A very simple technique. It needs to be a little, little irritating, but not painful. And over time, the client will report that it feels better and better as we proceed.